How's it going guys? We're back with Mr. Ironbar. It's been a little bit, uh, like a month or so, since that's when I maxed. So I took a break after I maxed, and I'm back for the Hydra update. It's coming out tomorrow, by the way. So let's uh, talk about a few things here. So all the stuff that I've been working on, um, like pet hunting, specific pets, uh, looking for metamorphic dust, uh, trying to get the spectral and a few other small things uh, These goals are always going to be you know ongoing things until I eventually complete it on this account But the main goal of the return of Mr. Iron Bar is going to be the Hydra equipment So getting the Lance component for Giant Hunter Lance the new Ferocious Gloves best in slot melee gloves in the game and also the Alchemical Ring so while I am looking for those items, uh, I also will be working on my other passive goals. So ultimately, I hope to get all these Hydra items so I can actually use it to make my other goals a bit uh, better. So for example, if I get the Dragon Hunter Lance, I would love to be able to use that uh, when I do my solo challenge more raids on this character for the Metamorphic Dust. And also just for some overall testing, you know, on some uh, monsters. And same for the other uh, items as well, like the Ferocious Gloves and the Alchemical Ring. So lots of awesome uses for it to benefit my existing goals. So two days from the time of this clip, Hydra will be released. And I want to get as many Hydra kills as possible on release day and probably the next few days after. So in order to do that, I need a lot of Slayer Points so I can skip tasks that I don't want to do. So let me show you how many points I got. I got 2,800 Slayer Points, which is really good. But to be honest with you, I want more. So I'm going to go ahead and at least get 4,000 Slayer Points. So the method that I'm going to be doing is uh, get tutorial tasks 9 times. And then on the 10th task, I will be doing Durdo. Uh, because that is basically the fastest way to get Slayer Points. Except I think Wadi Slayer can be better if you have like a crossbow, but I don't have that. But either way, it doesn't really matter too much. So I'm going to go ahead and start accumulating some Slayer Points right now. So I realized that the Mask Cape, since it counts as an Agility Cape, the Agility Cape counts as a Graceful Cape. So therefore, I actually don't need my Graceful Cape anymore. So I think I'm just going to end up selling it for some marks. Not like I need any more, but yeah, might as well save some bank space. So for this specific situation where I'm trying to get as many points as possible, as fast as possible, I'm going to actually use the Expeditious Bracelet because um, it will reduce the task amount overall by about 30-ish percent. So I got a ton of Opal, so that's no problem. I'm going to make some Expeditious Bracelets and then get started on the Slayer Grand. So I got a Smoke Devil task before the Point Rush and it's worth doing because it's really fast, so no point in skipping it. But I just want to let you guys know about the optimal barraging strategy here because how you do it is pretty important because it'll save you a lot of time so the fastest way to clear this task with ice barrage is to focus on the smoke devil that is directly east of the skeleton that is in the video because that spot is the spot where ice barrage can hit the most amount of sides meaning the most amount of smoke devils so your goal is to lure all the smoke devils around that eastern smoke devil and by doing so, you can cast Barrage on the Eastern Small Devil next to the Skeleton and it will kill as many things as possible. You really don't want to be focusing your Barrage on any other side because the other sides suck compared to the one on the East since it won't splash onto the other Small Devils as much. So I'm using this guy by Acepoon RS which tells you the best spots to kill certain monsters that are assigned by Turiel through the use of a cannon. So I just had a rat's task from Turiel for my first one and he told me to go to the Varax sewer which I did and it worked phenomenally. So yeah, in this injured guy, it's got every spot possible for every single task from Turiel. So the link is going to be in the description. I've looked through it and it looks really legit and I honestly can't think of any better spots than the ones that he's already found. So definitely credit to this guy. So I've done a few tasks with Turiel and I realized uh, running from Berthob to talk to him is actually a little bit time consuming because I know I'm going to talk to this guy so often I'm definitely going to be using NPC contact. Ooh, yes. This is bees. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to kill all these cows with the cannon. Oh my god. This is like private server. This is what it feels like right here. This cow field, literally a 
Slaughterhouse. Oh my god. PETA is gonna hate me, like, for real. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this massacre. Oh my god, dude. I don't know why. This is so satisfying to watch. Alright, so I had to skip an avian cease task because there's really no fast way to do this task. Even in the wilderness, I think it's still a little slow. So I'm gonna go get my 1600 tasks, hopefully no skips. 190 diagonal, super fast uh, at the lighthouse. So yeah, once I finish this task, I should be getting a prestige of 100 slayer task. So that should be a lot of points. I don't actually remember how much, but it should be a lot. Alright. Diagonals a lighthouse is insane now because I remember back in the day it's all about cannon here But now you also have the blowpipe uh, With the serpentine helmet you can guarantee poison on The mob as long as you have a toxic weapon and the serpent one too. So yeah, not only do you get the cannon damage you also get the crazy venom that comes from the blowpipe, so it's insane Wow, that was Awesome, dang. I didn't even use any food pretty much, but I gained 375 points for a hundredth uh, task completion. Insane. <laughs> at this rate, I should be at 4,000. Uh, definitely by tomorrow, man. For, for sure, for sure. So this might not be worth it, but for the point rushing purpose, I get these uh, desert lizards and they're really annoying to do with a cannon without the uh, auto freeze killing method so I'm gonna buy the perk and yeah just get that cuz I am gonna probably get this task a lot during the skipping process so for the Duradel task I got on this 10th one I got blue dragon so I was thinking uh, maybe I should skip them but then again I realized that there are baby blue dragons and uh, there's also a lot more baby blue dragons than there used to be because this area wasn't here so there's like an extra three I think blue dragons so I found a pretty decent way to go about it I uh, placed my cannon like right here and the idea behind it is I can easily save spot the three blue dragons here and also this one here and I'll let the cannon basically kill everything else around this area and nothing's really gonna attack me so the cannon just continuously goes if you got 99 Slayer or the Mask Cape, definitely bring it when you are point rushing because 1 out of 10 Tash, you get to stay where you are and just do it again, which will save you a lot of time. So the guy that I'm using is telling me to go to the Faldor Mine to kill dwarves, but I like this spot better because it's more AFK. Because you can't set a cannon down at that spot, but you can set it here. So... I gotta say, the Nexus portal and the other teleports in the Nexus room is so good for all the traveling that I'm doing for uh, the Slayer Point rushing. So yeah man, definitely worth making this, put it to good use. Okay, just did my uh, next 50 set of tasks, which gives me 225 points, so 3.5k now. Alright, I'm definitely gonna just try to settle at 4000 then. Uh, 5,000 is a bit too much of a stretch for me. Oh, I got a whip! What the? <laughs> Alright, nice. Okay. Alright, this is going to be my last regular 10 task streak. Because I'm going to be getting the 100 task streak once I hit 1700. So, yeah, that's it. Um, by the time I finish that, I should be around 4,000 points. It doesn't have to be exact, you know, as long as I get close. So here's the plan, guys. I didn't get my next 100 task streak, but in about four tasks, I will. So I have 16 minutes before the update, and I gotta do three more tutorial tasks in 16 minutes. And then just get right into a Hydra task, hopefully. And then finish the Hydra task and get that 100 task streak. So it sounds great. That's the plan. Alright, I made it with plenty of time to spare, so this is my last Banshee and task complete, so now I am on 1699 task. 8 minutes left, so no problem, should be able to hopefully get uh, the Hydra in one try without having to skip too much, but yeah, next task is going to be the big fat points. So based on all the teasers and stuff uh, from the previous talks about Hydra, it seems to be a hybrid or tribrid boss because you know it's got a lot of different heads 
and uh, the teaser showed it turn into different forms so you're like maybe it's hybrid tribrid, right so that's why my setup's kind of like what it is right now I'm just bringing a hybrid because yeah I mean at least I have more than one style right so we're gonna bring the dragon hunter crossbow because it's yes a dragon so there's a good chance that's gonna be good there and also bring my rape here for those uh, flexible switching if you know range turns out it sucks at certain parts but yeah we're just gonna go with this I mean who knows it could just be a single style fight you know it's a slayer monster boss so yeah I guess my expectations shouldn't be set so high huh it shouldn't be too difficult I'm not even gonna lie how slow this game is loading right now right after the update kind of reminds me of playing it with dialog back in the day so nostalgic you know like the anticipation of just waiting for this goddamn thing to load and finally get to play you know it's like wow but I'm ready dude I'm loving this new uh, login screen it's got the uh, brimstone volcano and whatnot so let's dig right in okay so this is where the Hydra resides in the uh, brimstone volcano place and I'm not exactly sure where all the teleports are, but I do see some air icons, which means, you know, transportation icon. So it could be a fairy ring. I know there's a farming gill, so maybe uh, the skilling necklace is pretty decent for that. But yeah, we'll find out soon enough. I am talking to a lot of people right now, you know, and uh, brainstorming some ideas for Hydra. Okay, so they got the farming gill now. I think that's probably the quickest way to get there for me for now. Yeah, ooh, damn, so many people here. Yo. But yeah, for now, I just want to see what this is. I think it's a minecart, but it's not too far. Oh, this is a fairy ring, man. I don't know the code. So this is post-recording. So the code for this fairy ring is CIR. And I don't think there's additional requirements to use this one. All right, not too bad. Not too bad from the farming guild. All right, I'm going to get my first task from her. Basically, I'm going to be skipping because I got 3,700 3, points. So if I don't get the Hydra, then... I'm gonna go ahead and just. Your are to bring balance to 133 Aberrant Spectres in Stronghold Slayer Dungeon. Oh, okay, see? So, Cohen's prediction was right. She tells you what to kill and where to kill. But, anyways, I think Hydra is only one place, so I'm just gonna skip. Cause see ya. And then I'm gonna get a new one. Blue Dragons and Mid Skill. Ah, I'm just gonna keep skipping, you know? Screw that shit. I got so much points, anyways. So. 57 black dragons and a catacombs of current. Wow, dude. I can't even cannon those there. Yeah, and there's only brutal black ones. Those those would take forever, you know. I might get to a point where I'll skip, like, in these cases. But I won't skip if it's a fast task. 127 gargoyles and slayer time. Oh, my God. That's so slow. So I'm trying to be really smart with my slayer points because uh, some people have told me they skipped 3,000 points worth of tasks and they haven't got a hydra task so i don't want to be in their situation i think they're probably extremely unlucky but i ain't taking chances so yeah this anku task that i got from her super easy you know gotta do it and uh anyways hopefully i get this hydra task really soon because the points uh, they take a long time you know to build up so i i want to get into the action really fast i'm so excited so i cannot wait I'm gonna wrap up the video here guys, hopefully next episode we have some good Hydra content and maybe even some drops, cannot wait, but I really hope you guys enjoy this episode so far, it's been a while you know since an iron bar video so I'm gonna try my best to uh, make it nice for you guys, but anyways many thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later with some more progress on Mr. Ironbar within a few days, take care and bye bye.